it would be unwise for you not to watch the Audioholics 2023 gift guide. That's what we're going to be talking about in today's video. Hey folks, I'm Gene Delisello with Audioholics. Christmas time is here again, 2023. As you guys know, every year we like to do a gift guide. About a week or so ago, we did a Black Friday's deal for you guys. I hope you enjoyed that. So I wanted uh, to put together a collection of really cool products. Maybe you want to get some an audiophile friend of yours, something cool for Christmas, or you want to reward yourself because you've had a hard year or you just worked really hard. You want to reward yourself or your family. We put together these products, many of which we've reviewed and we have experience with, and that's why they're on the list. Now, full disclosure, we do have affiliates. We have audio advice where most of the products are linked to them. We have a couple of products that are linked to Dream Media and a couple to our Amazon affiliate. You know, we do make some income from these affiliate links and we appreciate you supporting the channel by using the links if you decide that these are the products that you want for your own needs. So let me go over this. This list is, um, the full write-up is on audiohawks.com. I'll put a link for the article, but I'm gonna share my screen now and we could go over some of these products. And by the way, if you haven't paid attention, we've kind of updated the website a little bit. So now there's a table of contents and articles. You could skip right to the section you want to read. Some of our articles, as you guys know, could get quite lengthy. So now this just makes it more convenient for you guys. So first up, you know, I, I almost hate to put this in there because I know nobody's making money on this deal. This is a loss leading kind of product that Hisense is doing. When they came out with the 100 inch U8 series TV at Cedia, everybody had it pegged for a $10,000 retail. It was in the press release. All the, all the other magazines were putting 10 grand. I put five grand on it because that's what uh, the people at Hisense told me the street price would be. Well, then they blow us out of the water by now offering this limited time promotion for three grand for a 100 inch mini led that's just crazy i don't even understand how that's possible if i had the wall space you guarantee i'd be putting this up this is a great deal so if you're looking for a 100 inch tv a U, it's the uh, high sense u8 it's actually really idealized for gaming you know it's not the perfect set i'm sure there's some weaknesses compared to the some of the more expensive competitors from sony and lg but you're not going to get anything else for 100 inches at this price i mean this is kind of making people second guess if they should get projection if they're sticking with smaller screens so definitely check that out if you're looking for a tv of that size so next up is the denon uh in-ear monitors the noise canceling in-ear monitors i got to hear these at the audio advice live 2023 show and i was blown away normally i'm not an iem kind of person i don't like sticking earphones in my ear but these are actually very sophisticated. They use a technology similar to how babies get their hearing check when they're born. It analyzes your ear, hear, hearing automatically and designs an EQ curve for it. And when I put these on and they ran, the, man, ran me through the demo five or six minutes setup, and they turned the EQ on and off tailored to my hearing, I was blown away. This was truly the best in-ear monitor experience I've ever had. In fact, I've got a couple of pairs of these. I just haven't had a chance to sit down and do a formal review. So I've got the Pearl. Uh, these are the Pearl Ls, or they're just the Pearl. And then these are the Pearl Pros. And there's some advantages to the Pearl Pros. And this is the one that I recommend to you guys. It just has some upgrades in audio. You know, it's got um, longer battery life. There's just a lot of cool stuff. Either of these units would be great. I would definitely check these out if you're looking for a pair of in-ear monitors. They have the bone conduction feature for calling, so the so the voice calls are really crystal clear. Just a great uh, in-ear monitor. Definitely check those out. Next up are the Canto Aura powered desktop speakers and the Sub Eight. Now I'm I'm running some Canto's uh, U6s in my system over here. I've got the Tukes that I haven't opened yet um, that sound really great. I got to hear all of the Canto line at the Audio Vice 2023 show, and I was really impressed. I think their products are remarkable for their price. And these little Auras, they're 360 bucks a pair. I I have a pair in. I had James Larson actually take a listen to them and he's doing a review. So there will be measurements in his review. 
And these little guys, these are titans for what you for what they are. They're fully active. They have no crossovers in them. So there's full DSP control. Lots of advantages to active speakers, as you guys have heard me speak many times on this. The fact that you're getting not just a powered speaker, a wireless speaker at this price, but an active one with DSP control is unbelievable. And if you want to extend your base range, they do have the sub eight. Now this is not a sub that digs deep. It's not like a servo controlled sub from back in the day, like the Validine mini V's, which I love that sub by the way. But for what it is, it's actually a really good sub. I'm using it um, under my desk with the, with the Cantos YU6s. And I find it gives a good blend. It gives a nice little punch. It's not super deep, but it's not obtrusive, really easy to set up. And it's just the whole system is really cool. So if you're looking for a desktop system, definitely take a look at these. The auras are just a great idea if you're in a college dorm and you just want to give a lot of sound in a small space for a decent price. Definitely check those out. We put the affiliate links in there and stay tuned for our full review on those. So next up is a brand you're probably not too familiar with. We've reviewed some of the Philharmonic audio products over the years, and James Larson just gushes over them. And as you guys know, he's very pragmatic about his compliments. It's just because these speakers are so meticulously engineered. We know the engineer behind the brand, Dennis Murphy. He's a great guy. He was involved in the FTC standards long ago, and he has his own speaker company. And his he just has a no BS approach to engineering. He puts really good parts into his products, but more importantly, he's the crossover expert, man. This guy has just designed some of the best crossovers and that's the brains behind the speaker. So if you look at any of the reviews of any of their products on our site, you'll see just unbelievably good linear response on and off access. I mean, this guy just does textbook style design and his products look great. And this is a great little guy for 380 bucks a pair, a little monitor like this to have radius edges like that, beautiful cabinetry, different custom finishes. Uh, I'm just really impressed with the brand. I hope they get more attention. I put this in here for you guys. If you're audiophiles, check out their whole line. We've done probably three or four reviews for them over the last four or five years. And all their products have been class leading at their price points. Love the brand. So definitely check them out if you're looking for a high performance affordable compact monitor. So next up is the Definitive Technology Dimension DM70 floor standing speaker. These have uh, built-in subs and they have a bipolar configuration. They're a very interesting design and you should definitely check out our full written review. We also have a YouTube video on it. We did a lot of coverage of this product and James Larson's like, you got to put these in the gift guide and who am I to refuse James Larson? He's reviewing like hundreds of speakers. So he knows what he's talking about. So we threw these in here. I would definitely check these out. You know, they have a whole lineup that matches. They've got that 15 inch subwoofer with the dual passives in it. Tremendous speaker, uh, good value, good performance. If you're looking for a tower and you want a lot of sound, you want the ability to go from monopole to bipole, you could do that on these. They got, like I said, the built-in uh, base driver. So if you are limited on floor space, you could kind of get away without having to add a powered sub, at least initially, and see how the system sounds as is. And I think you might be pleasantly surprised, especially if you're in a smaller, medium-sized room. Next up is the JBL L75 music system. Again, I got to hear these at the Audio Advice Live Show. And guys, if you've never been to the Audio Advice Live Show, there's been two now. These shows are unbelievable. I just love them to death. One of my favorite trade show experiences. And JBL was in full uh, presentation mode there. They had a full range of their products on demo. Uh, of course, I love the HDI speakers, as you guys know. But this little music system had excellent sound to it. It looks really cool. I love the retro look to it. I love the fact that it's compact. I was very impressed with how much output it was able to put out. So definitely check this out if you're looking for kind of a one box solution for a music system that looks cool on a tabletop or a credenza. And, you know, I wanted to give some love to HSU, Shoe, Shoe Research. I think uh, they've been around longer than any online subwoofer company. You don't hear a lot of chatter about them these days because, you know, these subwoofers are years old in design. But just because they're old or they were designed a, a while ago doesn't make them obsolete. They still offer an excellent product for the money. 
And this subwoofer in particular, it's not too big. So James wanted to put a subwoofer in that had high output, but be reasonably sized, compact, that you could fit in a normal size room and maybe put a couple of them. And for under a thousand bucks, uh, shipping's separate, obviously, for, each, for, sh for shoe research. But under a thousand bucks, you're getting excellent performance here. You're getting our enough output to reach our large basaholic room size rating. The sub sounds great, and it's been around since, I think, 2016 when we reviewed it, and it's still a great performer. It's still one of the best budget 15-inch uh, subwoofers on the market, so definitely check it out. Give HSU some love if you're looking for a new subwoofer. So next up, we've got a receiver, and I think I have a typo here I have to fix, but anyways, uh, Yamaha has a two-channel AV receiver, and this is an interesting product because it has a lot of technology packed into this thing for 1800 bucks. In fact, I just finished my bench test is one back here. And what you're getting is a, is a honest hundred Watts of channel at eight ohms and a, and a receiver that could drive four ohms. I think it was like 170 or 180 Watts of channel on my bench test, both channels driven, but you're getting a network receiver and it does all your streaming through music cast, whether you're using Tidal or you're using Deezer, or you're using Spotify, whatever you use, you have the ability to control it through your phone. You got airplay, you've got uh, Bluetooth. I mean, it's just a lot of features on here. It's got a subwoofer output and it has bass management through music cast. And I didn't even know this because it wasn't in their user manual and it wasn't anywhere documented online. I actually had to talk to my boy, Phil Shea, uh, from Yamaha and he's like, yeah, it's in there and you have to run Y power in order to access it. But very cool product. I think, um, overall it's, it's truly a two channel AV receiver with HDMI eARC. And I don't know too many other products in this price class that offer all these features and give you good performance. So if you're just looking to set up a two channel system and you want to add a receiver to your TV, this is your solution because now you have a receiver that could drive forum speakers without a problem so you could put good speakers on here it's got an hdmi output so you could take all the sources from your tv and run it into here it's got a usb dac a very high-end dac so you could plug a pc into it and you can run music through there and it's got coax it's got toss link and it's got a good phono preamp stage i actually measured the phono preamp and it's a very good phono preamp stage as well so overall good package here Check it out if you're looking to just upgrade the sound of your TV room, den, or whatever. Definitely a good idea. So the Focal Batites are the uh, noise canceling wireless headphones. We reviewed these a couple of years back. They're on a good sale right now. They're normally 800 bucks, and Audiovice has them for 630. These are one of my favorite noise canceling headphones. So they don't have the strongest noise canceling compared to some of their competitors like Sony and even Bose. But the noise canceling is is good enough for most cases, and the sound quality is really good. In fact, they just did an update to their to their uh, software, so it does a hearing test, which I haven't checked yet. But even without that, without the customization of your hearing, these still sound really good. And to be honest with you, they're some of the most comfortable um, wireless headphones I've tried on. And I've got the Levinsons, I've got the Bose, and these look great. I love how the uh, the little ring over here lights up white. They just look very classy. That's what Focal is all about. They're giving you good sound with class. And it's a good price. For 630 bucks. this checks a lot of boxes. It's got long battery life. I've used them on multiple plane trips and, and traveling and had good success with them. So I hope you guys, if you're looking for a good pair of uh, wireless headphones, will check this out because it's a good deal right now. Next up, this is a product that... Um, James wanted to add this, the Steam Deck OLED. So this is a cool thing because it's a portable system where you could play games on it. Or if you want to stream Netflix when you're driving or doing a long drive and you, or your kids are in the back seat, you get some high resolution here on the screen. And it's depending on how it's configured, it's anywhere from 400 to 650 bucks. So we put that in the guide. I think you guys might want to take a look at that and see all the different features on here. I don't know much about it, but James says this is a cool product. So I said, why not? Let's put it in. So next up is the Saber Masters Ultimate Lightsaber, as I showed you guys here. I love these things. You could do full combat with them. 
you get two of them for uh, on sale right now for 200 bucks. You can even add the extra blade from your other one and make a double blade Darth Maul style. I mean, there's just so much coolness to this. Don Dunn got me this for my birthday. Thank you, Don. This is a great 50th birthday gift. I feel young again, even though I'm 50. Yes, I'm that old. I'm acting like a kid again because I've got my lightsabers. I would have killed to have a product like this when I was 10 years old watching Return of the Jedi back in the day. So if you are a Star Wars fan, these are the bomb. Check them out. Put the link there for you as well. And then we've got the Atari VCS all-in-one bundle. So I, I contacted Atari when this came out and I said, you know what? I'm an 80s kid. I'm an 8-bit guy. I love vintage games. You know, I have a Commodore 64 with HDMI in my family room. I got a Nintendo Wii, which is a little bit more modern. I loved Atari growing up. I had ColecoVision and television, you name it. This is this is my childhood right here. And I almost got a tear in my eye when this showed up at my house. And I know some of these games are very basic and they're repetitive and you could get bored of them real quickly. But this Atari system has refreshed, updated games with new graphics and games like Missile Command and Berserk. I can't wait to check out Berserk on this. The graphics on the re-imaged version look really cool. Um, I couldn't think of a cooler product. For under $200, it's on sale right now. If you are into the old games, get this and enjoy it with your kids. You know, get Let them relive some of your childhood. You know, My kids always tell me, man, the 80s must have been the best decade because they see like the show Stranger Things and just a lot of shows now are themed in the 80s and it just looks like a cool era. And it was a cool era. In many ways, it was one of my favorite decades growing up as a kid in Long Island, uh, New York and playing these games and playing manhunt out in the streets with my buddies. I mean, this was how we grew up. So this is a good deal. You get two controllers and you can download games. You plug this in through a network and it has HDMI on it. I will be doing some coverage of this. And hopefully if I get some updated games, I could do little uh, live streams on this. And maybe if you guys are gamers, we could talk about, you know, what are your favorite Atari games? Give me some comments below. I was really a Commodore guy back in the day, but I also loved Atari too. So this is just cool to be able to do stuff like this. And then I wanted to put in um, a media light kit. So sometimes when you're watching a really bright display in the dark, it could be straining on your eyes, especially people like me that wear glasses. And I wanted to put a backlight behind my TV. And this one's actually an ISF certified bias light. So it gives you the proper uh, temperature. So you're not really distorting the image or changing the color accuracy of your image by putting a light behind it. it actually takes some strain off the eyes. Now, personally, when I'm not using my TV, I like it to be blue. And unfortunately, you, you can't do that with this. This is for someone that's really serious about um, maintaining accurate color um, color temperature and color accuracy and still having a backlight behind your tv so definitely take a look at these and they they range in price depending on the size of your tv but they're very reasonably priced and that's pretty much it for the gift guide and i just threw in the 8-bit christmas if you guys haven't seen 8-bit christmas check it out i think it's on i think it was on netflix or amazon i can't remember where i watched it but it's basically like a modern version of Christmas Story, except for the, it's, except for it being a BB gun. It's a Nintendo system, entertainment system. Very enjoyable movie. Got some really good laughs in it. So, guys, I hope you liked this gift guide. Let me know what your favorite gifts are on this list. I want to remind you now, it's November 30th. This is the last day to enter the Perlison R210 subwoofer giveaway. This is a $5,000 subwoofer sponsored by Dream Media. And even if you don't win at the end of this contest, everybody's getting the chance to buy at a discount any product of their choice from Perlisten. And this is a deal that we worked out with Dream Media and Perlisten. So definitely enter this. This is your last chance to enter it. I hope you guys take advantage of it. Don't forget about our Patreon channel at patreon.com slash audioholics. We appreciate your support. You get direct access to me if you want to suggest video topics. And stay tuned. We're going to be doing the Audioholics product of the year in a couple of weeks. You're going to get to see all of the different categories like we always do. So I hope you guys have a great next couple of weeks getting ready for my favorite time of year. I hope you guys uh, are going to be surrounded by loved ones. I appreciate all the support you've given our channel. And I hope you find these guides that we're doing for you useful. And until next time, my friends, keep listening.